Hey everybody, it's update time. So it is 11.06 p.m. on Sunday night here in Copenhagen. I just got back from London and it's 10.06 p.m. over there. So I lost an hour today, but I gained an hour earlier in the week while I was traveling over there. Uh, I was in London for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and um, Friday just kind of sitting and chatting with, with a friend, um, having a really nice time walking around the city and just taking in the environment, uh, and doing a little bit of shopping. Um, I know, I'm bad. But the then Saturday was the Pride Parade, and just general party time, so I got together with a couple of friends um, and just had just good conversations and chats and we watched the parade and you know sat at a cafe with some drinks and a really bland um, fruit smoothie and a really melty chocolate cookie um, and you know just had some good discussions um, and putting on sunscreen and stuff so I wouldn't get red I have to keep up my pale vis visage you know so the pride parade was just great there was such good energy and uh, I mean, the, the parade kind of moved through the city and ended up in Trafalgar Square, for those of you who know it. If not, you should look it up, because it's a cool and historic place. Um, and, so at Trafalgar Square, there's kind of a lot of different streets kind of all congregating in the center. And um, down one of the streets, there's just a massive, packed group of people with, you know, there's a truck kind of leading the group, and it's blasting out dance music and Lady Gaga and all this stuff, and people just dancing and woo, and having a really good time, and it seemed, you know, it was just a really, people were so happy. Like, that was the coolest part. People were so happy. And um, then the party moved sort of into, like, a street party in the Soho district, which is like the gay district of London. And um, it's a few square blocks. I don't know exactly how big it is, but um, you know, it's pretty big. It's good enough to wander around for a little while. You can get lost in it, I think, if you don't know the city. Um, so, there was something that was a little bit shocking to me, or a little bit disappointing, that I want to talk about. You know, this was my first Pride experience, so I went in there knowing not a lot of what to expect other than happiness and partying. And that was definitely there. But there was also uh, some things that really bothered me. The biggest of which was um, a pretty big... Um, a bit of ignorance for the environment. So I was walking around um, Soho, this street party, and uh, not even toward the end of the night. This must have been around 9, 9.30 p.m., and this party was going until 3 or 4 or 5 in the morning um, on Saturday night. Um, and even this early point in the evening, the streets of Soho were just completely covered with garbage. Just covered with trash. Just shit everywhere. Wrappers and cups and bottles and lots of broken glass. And there's this little park in, 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 in Soho called Soho... I think it's called Soho Park. Um... And it's like this little patch of green that's like just kind of nice. It's, it's got a little tiny fence that's fencing it off. And it was just covered in garbage. And I was like, what's the deal here? So it's just the, the blatant disregard for, for the environment was really distressing to me. And it's like, you know, of course we should all be able to celebrate ourselves and our identities and who we are and our promiscuity or whatever... But why do we have to do it at the expense of our environment? You know, I guess I have this stuff on my mind lately because of the oil spill, and this one just seems so much worse than, than one that I remember 10 or 12 or 15 years ago. I was younger for that one, and kind of knowing what I do now about the environment, the ecosystem, and, um, you know, climate change, and, and, and we need to be kind to the earth, and... Um, we're not being kind to the earth, and I mean, you know, I mean, for the most conservative people that look at our pride event and go, what a bunch of fucking homos, like, wanted to get out of here, you know, in their conservative, uh, you know, way that doesn't, you know, non-inclusive way, this, this is one of the things that I think gives them ammunition, because we just come in here and trash the place, and then we all wander off, stumble off like we're drunken, because we are drunken. 
and I, I just, I don't know, I feel like we need an event that is respectful of humanity and the earth, and, and it really, it really upset me. So, there's a lot more Pride events coming up. If you're watching this, if you have a chance to go to one of those parades, please be mindful. Please use a garbage, a garbage can or a bin, rubbish bin, whatever you call it, whatever the word is in your culture or your language. You know, garbage does not belong on the street. Um, so please be mindful. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was that today is actually the 4th of July, so I traveled back home on the 4th of July to Copenhagen, where we don't celebrate the 4th of July, and in London they don't celebrate the 4th of July because, you know, the 4th of July is celebrating when America sort of seceded from the nation owned by, uh, Great Britain. So why would they celebrate losing America <laughs> as a colony? Uh, or the United States as a colony. Now, I didn't have any fireworks today. I didn't have any barbecue. I didn't even have any beer. Um, I did have a, a cup of cider, but that was just to kind of ease the pain of the flight. And I, I sort of you know, I had to I had to sit and talk tell myself, you know, congratulations for your independence. Because, you know, over the weekend I'm I mean, people have told me that Pride is one big hookup event. And I was going into that event open to have some experience with somebody if I've met someone and really liked them. And that didn't happen. So I I came I came back to Copenhagen just as sexually frustrated as I was when I left for London. And I have this sort of uh, independence that I've had since I split up with my fiancé three years ago, two and a half years ago. And I, th I think that it's time for me to celebrate that independence because um, I, I'm really happy that, looking back, I didn't just kind of fall into the arms of somebody and go, oh, you're beautiful, let's fuck. Because I, I'm, I'm happy that that's not who I am. I'm happy that I'm a person that needs emotional gratification and mental stimulation out of a partner beyond just sex. Uh, you know, sex is sex, and I've had some really good conversations with people about it this weekend, and talking about volume of sex can make the actual act seem, you know, pleasureless. Just, it's like you're going through the motions. You don't, you don't enjoy it anymore because you're doing it so much. It's like, okay, well here, step one, two, three, four, five, we're done. You know, here's breakfast, goodbye. And, um, I, I really feel like I'm spending so much time being depressed about being alone, being single, that, uh, it's not worth it. That I should take pride in myself, I'm feeling very prideful from the weekend, but also pride in my own independence that I don't have to be with somebody. I can be happy by myself. I can be happy that I don't have to make my schedule work with anybody's every day. You know, I don't have to cook for somebody if I don't want to, although I don't really have to cook for myself if I don't want to. I can have the habits that I want, I can have the lifestyle that I want, and, um, you know, I don't have to uh, settle for second best when it comes to finding a mate. You know, I'm not, it's just not that important to have some, you know, physical satisfaction at, at the expense of these other sort of values that I have um, in a partner. So, I am celebrating myself with this glass of water, and I would like to empower everybody, since it's pride season, to take pride in yourself, no matter your status, or your orientation, or your gender, um, or your financial status or your skin color, or your genital status, or what the fuck ever, you know? Cheers to all of us, right? That's all for now. I'll see you next time.